Question 1. What is the benefit of child domain? Answer. There are many benefits of child domain such as security boundary administrative overhead low network traffic low. Question 2. What is the workplace in desktop engineer? Answer. Desktop engineers work in office environments in most cases. Some companies require their engineers to travel between different work sites. There are remote support technologies that are allowing companies to cut down on their desktop engineer travel times, as common problems can be diagnosed and fixed over a remote connection. Question 3. What are the duties of desktop engineer? Answer. A desktop engineer is used to set up the computer infrastructure needed for the business. This duty could be as simple as installing operating systems on a few office machines or as extensive as setting up a network of hundreds of computers. Desktop engineers install needed operating systems, software and hardware. Peripheral support for printers and servers might also fall under a desktop engineer's control. Question 4. Who is desktop engineer? Answer. Desktop engineers provide support and implementation services to business infrastructures. This job has a number of different titles. It could be called Desktop Systems Engineer, Desktop Support, Support Technician, Helpdesk Engineer or Desktop Deployment Engineer. Desktop engineers need to have extensive knowledge of the software used by the business, as well as the operating systems and hardware peripherals that may be in use. Question 5. What are the advancements in desktop engineer? Answer. Desktop engineers can specialize in certain technologies or go into a management position over other desktop engineers. Advancement into other types of computer sciences such as programming or software design is also possible. Question 6. Explain about Operation Master Role. Answer. Operation Master Role is available on Domain Controller in the network. There are five types of Operation Master Roles. Schema Master Domain Naming Master RID Master PDC Emulator Infrastructure Master. Question 7. Explain IAS Server. Answer. IAS stands for Internet Authentication Services. IAS Server is also known as Radius Server. IAS Server Server provides the centralized management of multiple RAS and VPN server in the network. On this server remote access policy and remote access logging options are available. Question 8. What is VPN server? Answer. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It is basically used for mobile user in the network. This server provides the remote access connectivity for mobile user. In this way all of the mobile users are connected to server through internet. This server also provides the connectivity between two or more office in the network. VPN is cost effective, no costly. Question 9. Tell me how do you feel about your abilities as a manager? Answer. Focus on how you achieve results while maintaining good staff relations. Use examples of your successes and how you have learned from mistakes. Emphasize your energy and experience. Question 10. Identify a few firewalls. Answer. There are two basic types of firewall, network layer, which make decisions based on source and destination addresses, and application layer, which are hosts run on proxy servers and allow no direct traffic between networks. Komodo and Zone Alarm are two commonly used firewalls. Question 11. Can you please explain the difference between RAM and ROM? Answer. RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is used for the temporary storage of data that is being worked on. ROM is read-only memory and is used for permanent storage of data that should never be changed, like BIOS for example. Question 12. Explain hard disk partitions. Answer. Hard disk partitions divide the hard disk drive into smaller segments to enable better space management. Each partition on the disk can then be considered as a separate disk allowing different file systems to be used on each. Question 13. What are some common sources of computer viruses and how can you prevent being infected? Answer. 
Some common sources are internet downloads, email attachments, and infected CDs, DVDs. You can use trusted antivirus software and update it regularly. Make sure it checks every file on the computer. Back up your system periodically in case a major infection occurs, and be aware of all software and programs that run on your computer. Never click a suspicious link or download a suspicious file. Question 14. What is the blue screen of death? Answer, a blue screen error is mainly due to hardware or software incompatibility within the system. The most common reasons for a blue screen of death BSD, are unwanted software installation, high CPU usage and faulty RAM. Try the following options. Pull out the RAM card, rub it with rubber on the chip side, and reinsert. If a BSD still occurs, try using that RAM on another system. Every BSD has a unique code, try searching it on Google to find a solution. Question 15. How do I edit my boot.ini? Answer. Open run, type msconfig and press enter to open system configuration utility. Select the tab labeled boot, ini. Click the button labeled check all boot paths. A dialog box will open detailing the location of any invalid operating system locations. 